Ta da! You might be wondering what I'm holding in my hand. So this is um, this is the Oria um, flat bottom dripper, right? Um, the red one that you are seeing right here, this is the Oria negotiator. This is the thing that makes the Oria an unstoppable dripper, right? So, um, so the Oria is a flat bottom dripper. It has a flat um, exit right here and the paper that you would normally use for this dripper is a wave filter like this this is a Kalita 185 it fits like that then you press it in and then you put water so that the bottom of the paper sticks to the dripper but the problem with the wave filters is actually the bypass so in order for you to, to in order for you to minimize the bypass, you're gonna use a negotiator. So you're gonna push it in here in the middle, and then you start twisting, and then you press the paper filter down. Now, if you put water into it, let's put some water. And then you press it again. There, you're gonna get an Oria filter with no by with minimal bypass. Of course, there's still um, some folds in there. Yeah, minimal bypass. Right. Now we move on to a smaller, smaller wave filter. Right. This one is a Kalita 155 wave filter. So, same thing. You press it here. You can actually wet this first before using the negotiator. Right. So you press it, you press it there, and then again you use the negotiator. Turn it and then press it down. Right. Now you have a really nice um, minimal bypass paper filter. Yeah, you see? Okay. Now, earlier I said it's an unstoppable dripper. Let me, let me show you why. Not only that you can use a wave filter for this dripper, you can also use a regular trapezoid filter. So this is from a normal coffee machine, normal coffee maker or coffee dripper that has a trapezoid, um, trapezoid under, right? So of course you do the folds on the seams, right? And then, now you're wondering, how, how are you gonna use it on an Oria? Well, now since we have a negotiator, just put it there, um, wet the bottom of the paper filter, right? And then, again, use your negotiator. Press it in, and then spin. Right. And then do your pre-wet so that the paper stick to the sides of the walls of the dripper. Right. Okay, now by using a trapezoid filter, you actually have less um, bypass there. You see how perfect the uh, how perfect the paper sticks to the walls. Right. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. This is... This is an Abaca filter from Cafec. And it's a trapezoid filter too. So we're just gonna do the same thing. 
fold the fold the seams and then open it so if you want to enjoy the benefits of the abaca filter because it has all these um, it has all these textures inside I have yet to do a video about the abaca filter but watch out for that soon okay again same same step wet the bottom of the paper put the negotiator inside and then press press and then turn there you see you have a really nice um, minimal bypass paper filter right there well it doesn't it doesn't look exactly nice it's not perfect but because of the negotiator we can use a variety of paper filters with the Aurea you can actually say that just bring your Aurea wherever you go and then you will survive and lastly this is a cone filter I did say previously I did say in the previous videos that you can't use a cone filter with your Aurea but I found a solution so I saw this on the internet they actually converted the cone filter into a trapezoid filter in order for them to do this so first you you fold the sides right the seams and then you add some on the other side kind of um, kind of um, reduce the angle of the V60 and then now you're gonna want to fold here right so that it looks like a trapezoid filter now when you open it right and then put it here again same steps wet the bottom of the filter first use your negotiator and then press and then turn now you just have to wet the walls right there isn't that great yeah so with the cone filter you actually have um, minimal bypass as well this actually is very helpful if you are in a tight situation where you don't have access to wave filters or or flat filters like the Sybarist we did a video of that also um, but yeah with the negotiator it makes the Aurea an unstoppable dripper you can you don't have any excuse not to use it <laughs> right how about you what 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 paper filter do you prefer using in your Aurea? Do you have other hacks or do you have other tips with the Aurea? Um, let me know in the comments below. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!